This video is about how to request and view unofficial transcripts of a student as an advisor. To begin, you go to Records and Enrollment, Transcripts, and Transcript Request. The first screen you see has two tabs, Find an Existing Value and Add a New Value. These values that you're looking for here are requests for transcripts. As an example, if you were to see three or four students all on the same day, you could, at the beginning of the day, click on Add a New Value and request all of the transcripts for those students. And then as each student came in, you could go to Find an Existing Value and request to view that particular transcript request. Since we haven't yet requested a transcript, we're going to click on Add a New Value. Here in Add a New Value, you should see the institution being ASU00, and you should see the transcript type to be unofficial and the output destination to be printer. If you don't see those values, then you haven't set your user defaults yet in order to work with unofficial transcripts. There's a video on this YouTube channel that talks about setting your user defaults, which you should go through, and it will give you instructions on how to do that. Next, once you come to this, um, to this page, you go to the Request Detail tab to request a transcript. <coughs> Here you can request as many transcripts as you want. If you have multiple students that you want to request the transcripts for, you simply click on the plus sign for each student that you want to request a transcript for. Here you need to put in the ID number. It's looking for the affiliate ID. If you don't know the affiliate ID, then you're just going to click on the uh, magnifying glass. And then you can put in any of the information that you know about that student. Once again, employee ID is affiliate. National ID is Social Security, and Campus ID is the ASU ID, that's the 993 number. We've made up a fictitious student whose last name is student, so we'll go search for that student. <clears throat> so here's Joe's student. We requested that transcript. Now what we do is we go up and we click on Process Request. Here is the transfer request. Here is the, the unofficial transcript for that student. Um, you'll notice that the transfer credits are given at the top. Um, please remember that the system of record for ASU is uh, DARS for uh, transfer credits. This will give you a snapshot, but to get the official credits that have been transferred, uh, please go see DARS for that and run an audit. Um, then farther on down, you'll get their undergraduate record and you'll be able to see all of the different um, information that's, that's available for this student. You can just print this. This is a web page, so you can go up to the file menu and print if you want to. Um, you can also get it printed as a PDF file by clicking on the print button. The PDF file is nicely formatted and has all the column headings, etc., and it's easier to read. Once you've clicked on the print button, you need to go to the report manager in order to see the actual PDF. Here we see that we requested a PDF file of the unofficial transcript and that it's processing. And we can click the refresh button. And once you've clicked the refresh button, you can see that it's now posted. You may have to click the refresh button multiple times until you get to this status. Then you can click on the transcript link and it will pull up the PDF of the student's um, unofficial transcript. In this particular case, we have a run status of an error here. If this happens, um, you can go back to cancel. And I don't know what to say after that. No, let's. I'm sorry, Matt. Uh, so this. Um, if you come to a report detail that shows this sort of screen and an error has happened, um, at this point um, you can contact the help desk at 965-6500 or put in a case at asu.edu slash support um, and they will help you um, with your problems here. And that's how to see um, an unofficial transcript for a student.